What is up ladies and gentlemen, Tahita Hawkins here. Guys, for today's product review, I will be covering the Good Catch Plant-Based Crab Cakes New England style. So without further ado, you guys, let's dive on into this thing. Taste-wise, I feel like these are good. Not good with an exclamation mark, but good with a comma. Cause I feel like as you taste them, you'll be like, uh, maybe. You know, it takes a second before you fully assess how and where they stand. I actually did a product review of Sophie's Kitchen Crab Cakes maybe a little over a year ago now, and those pretty much had me speechless. Check out the review if you have a second. The only drawback is I feel like I've had the hardest time trying to locate Sophie's Kitchen products as of late. I don't know if they've just discontinued. I don't know if they went out of business. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not the latter. Those were like the holy grail for me in terms of vegan crab cakes that are just out of sight. This doesn't quite match that level or energy texture wise. I do think they really knock it out the park here. I feel like the consistency is really consistent with what you would want from a crab cake. So kudos there. Cost wise, these actually come in at $4.68. I'm a big fan of a product under $5. And I got these actually right at Walmart. So you can go there, definitely go to Harris Teeter. You can definitely go to Sprouts and just check your local market. The website's super easy to navigate. So let's get into the cook time, you guys. One method here. So you just want to saute these right from your freezer so you don't have to worry about thawing them out at all. Throw them in a skillet. They recommend that you use a cast iron. I personally didn't want to deal with the cleanup this evening. So I said, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna just use my regular nonstick pan and we are gonna just keep it pushing. But anyway, add them to your skillet, put a little oil in there and then just cook them covered for about eight to nine minutes. Now you do wanna flip them occasionally, so just make sure you do that. And then from my experience, you guys, I actually paired these with some butter lettuce, two tomato slices, some red onion and some vegan remoulade. And I think I topped it with like a little bit of fresh oregano. Your girl was definitely living. That sauce, slamming. I felt like it definitely just kind of brought the flavor fully to the surface. Okay, if you're anything like me guys, and if you find that you're having moments where you're just jonesing for some crab cakes and you just need like a little something to satisfy that itch, I think this is a solid product to go after. I wouldn't say that this is like the Cadillac of vegan crab cakes, but it's a solid Buick. And we all know Buicks will get you from point A to point B as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. Be blessed.